everybody, it's your crazy fan girl Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be reacting to the new Outlander season five teaser. Oh, it's so good. Last time we were left on a high that Jamie and Claire were obviously in the aunt what's the name? Jacasta's house? Yeah, literally I have not watched the like the episode since I did my reactions. So it's been a while. Um and yeah, Brianna had her kid and then what's his name? What's Brianna's husband's name? Oh shit. Oh, Roger. That's it. Jesus Christ. I have super bad memory. And yet, yeah, the last time we watched it, the very last part was left on a cliffhanger that Jamie was given the mission to go and find Murta and bring him in to obviously like the like the governors and stuff so that they could hang him and stuff like that. So that kind of left the season on a cliffhanger and I know a few people weren't really happy with it. Um, I'm not really sure what to take on it because it is a very, I, I'm pretty sure it's a big departure from the books. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I doubt they're gonna delve into that much detail into this one because it's a teaser but let's just get into it because I'm very excited and I cannot wait to see what's going on. But before that please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also to keep up to date with all my other videos to more reactions of TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Oh. It's my fault that you're all here. Fighting the dangers to the Carolina wilderness. I hope you don't stay. Ooh. When this water you tell me about eventually comes, it would be safer in your time. Our time must be done. You want to go back, don't you? Our family is here. Oh, okay. It's dangerous. Isn't this plain God? <laughs> if I am to keep us safe here, the time, space, history, be damned. Prepare for battle. What are you doing? It's safer in the future. Oh, wait, what? Safer in the future, what? Baby, huh? Safer in the future, oh, okay. Okay, um, wow. So, from what I've seen in this trailer, the first bit of it was things to do with the Civil War. Now, we spoke about the Civil War in the previous season a lot and that was a very controversial topic but it was so interesting and I'm I'm so happy that they're gonna delve into it more and obviously they were because from I, I'm not sure if the like location changes in any more of the Outlander books or like whatever's gonna come in the future but I was hoping that they would delve more into that issue so I'm kind of glad that they are it's so exciting obviously there's an issue also with Brianna and Roger so the fact that they're living in the past <laughs> But then they have a kid, and Roger wants to go and obviously live back in the future where obviously everything's more modern. But obviously there is that danger that they could get caught in that kind of like time rip of like that portal. And to be honest, they could be thrown into some other timeline that could be much worse than this one. But at the same time, I understand why he obviously wants to go back to the civilization he was brought up in and was born into. Um, and obviously he wants better chances for his kid. And I understand that, for example, Claire, she, she wants to obviously do her part in helping. But at the same time, this is something we've learned throughout past seasons, that she isn't able to change events. Like, they are destined to happen, but... She could do things that kind of change, but they're not going to ultimately change the final result. And this is what we saw in about season, I think it was season three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was season three. Um, or season, no, not season two. Season, ah! Uh, oh no, I think it might have been season two actually. Let's go back into my brain. Season two. It was season two when she... When they came back from France, and then they started gathering more supporters, obviously, for the Jacobite Rising. Yep, yeah, now I remember. And then they won that battle, and she was thinking that it might change everything, but it didn't. So, yeah, now I remember. Um, but definitely, it, it looks also exciting. I cannot wait. Um, but again, the whole thing with Claire, I reckon that's going to be, like, a really defining point in this series where she has to come to a point where she has to make a decision where she has to stop fighting I guess and um at the same time at the very end you know she's talking like we have to go back to the future so I'm guessing maybe maybe I think they're all uh, I don't really think Jamie would go back that's the thing like if they're talking about the whole family including like like everyone I don't think Jamie would go back necessarily I think he'd fit in really 
awkwardly, I think, for his, like, obviously for him, it will be very, very different. Even though Claire did it, I think for Jamie, it'll just be so shocking for everything that happens. Um, but I reckon it could be a possibility for Brianna and Roger and the kid to go back. Um, I'm not cutting that out. But I guess that could be a possibility. Also, Aunt Jocasta is there, and then obviously Myrta, that shocking romance that came out of nowhere. Literally, even I went back and I watched my reaction, I was like, I'm so dumb, like I couldn't see the sexual tension between them until I went back and watched it. Um, because obviously Ian had kind of like given himself up and I was emotionally high off that, so I wasn't really taking into account what was going on between them. And then suddenly they slept together and I was like, what the hell? But you could go back and watch that in my reactions, but that was hilarious. I, like every time I go back and look, I'm like, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. But anyway, I actually am really, really excited for this season. Um, it's been a while, it has been Droughtlander, but I am very excited. This is coming out in Feb and that's just when I go back to uni, which is annoying. But I am definitely going to keep up to date with this. It looks amazing, as usual. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the new teaser trailer for Outlander. If I missed anything, please let me know. This was a little bit of a quick analysis. I apologize. Um, I just had like a really like big family dinner, so that's why I'm a little bit tired. But I also just wanted to do this and do a little bit of an analysis. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I get, like I said, please let me know your thoughts on the new season. All the people who watched all the Outlander episodes, please check it out. And please like tell me your thoughts and tell me like what you're excited about because I'm very excited. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cause your fangirl out. Woo!